Did you know that on every third Thursday of the month, a book barn in Clovis joins in on Art Harp by showcasing a local author or artist? I didn't know they participated. I, neither did I. But you know, this month, folks have the chance to meet the man behind these wonderful paintings, capturing everyday moments from a day at the zoo to times of struggle and serenity. For more on what goes into creating these beautiful canvases, please help us welcome local artist and author Steve Hammond. Steve, great to see you again. Thank you for having me back on. Welcome to our book club. Yes. So you are a book guy. You're an author. Yes. You do the Penguin series, Rise of the Penguins. The Rise of the Penguins and uh, another series as well. But a little known fact, you also paint. Yep. <clears throat> I've been focusing on my painting the last, you know, four or five months now. Wow. Multi-talented. Yeah, yeah. 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 So your paintings are unique in what way? Um, I don't stick to one particular style, I guess. That's what makes me unique. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go from impressionism to realism to abstract. Uh, you know, I, I kind of bounce around the board quite often. I also do photography and wood burning. This is beautiful yeah. because this is obviously the California wildfires. Is yes. that your inspiration? Mm -hmm. What was, when did you paint this? During some of the bad ones? Or yeah, just I painted that um, late September, early October. Um, you know, if you live here in the state and you're not impacted mm -hmm. somewhat emotionally by everything you see right. going on around you, then um, you're kind of heartless. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about this painting. Uh, this is inspired by uh, a contemporary artist, she's been around for a while, named Kusama. She does uh, um, what they call infinity net type paintings. Mm. And I was reading and learning about her, and then I kind of emulated the style, demo and abstract expressionism on it. It's kind of very relaxing, very meditative work doing that. Oh, this, this is, is gorgeous. Beautiful. Where's that? That's uh, just on the north side of the Rock of Morro Bay. Oh, wow. beautiful. Wow. You are super talented. Thank you. What's harder, painting or writing? Um, Good question. <laughs> uh, they're, they're both two different, very different mediums. They're both uh, very immersive. Um, I lose myself in either one I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just a way to express myself. Yeah. You say that you embody a life's influences. What does that mean exactly? Um, everything from the trouble that, you know, day to day troubles, uh, you know, health troubles, financial How do you whatever. paint something? About a health struggle, like what can you give some? Um, for me personally, I've, I've, you know, been out of work for a while because of some heart issues, mm -hmm. and uh, you know that has an impact emotionally and financially. And some of my paintings will just transfer all that frustrated energy uh -huh. onto the canvas. Uh, none of them I showed you here today, but uh, you know, yeah. they're mm -hmm. around. Can people buy your paintings? Yes, every, I mean everything's for sale. That's actually very appreciative because it helps support me on the way to. Continue to do my work. Yeah, yeah. And you'll be showing them at Art Hop, I imagine. Is it this Thursday? Yes, this Thursday, tomorrow night at the Book Barn in Clovis, um, from five to eight. It's, this is their first step into Art Hop. Oh, this that's Thursday. Fun. Wow, yeah. that's going to be nice. Yeah. And you will be there, mm -hmm. and you will be uh, showing your art, maybe selling your books. Mm -hmm. who, who, who is this? Uh, that's a self-portrait I did. Oh, <laughs> wow. I was about yeah. to say, I think I know that guy. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> they look different with a hat. Yeah. Uh, so when you paint, do you visualize what you're going to paint, or do you feel what you're going to paint? Uh, a little of both. I mean, um, some of the more abstract expressionist pieces are more just pure emotion. Mm. Um, I do these, I've done a series of these uh, kind of like face mask paintings, mm. and uh, that's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the images I'll draw out first, uh, like the fire image you saw mm. that just came from my head. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. wow. Is this your newest book? Yes. Tell us about it. Uh, this is preeminent. It's, it's a prequel to my Rise of the Penguins series. It came out last fall. Um, it covers the time from about a year before the actual series starts. And, and Talks about the rise of the the bad guys in the story. So, do you have to? Which book do you have to read first? Um, I would say read the, the first part of the series. The first one first, and yeah. then the second one second. That would yeah. make sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but remind you, us, you remind us the synopsis it. of the series. The synopsis of the series it involves uh, the penguins have organized, they're intelligent, and um, they're trying to drive people out of the southern realm, which is Antarctica, oh. and uh, I'll of course, all the Southern Ocean, and things get a little hairy from there. They get a little overambitious. Oh, so, sounds uh, so interesting. Yeah. Just like your painting. Yeah. yeah well. I love it. <laughs> love it. 
Well, they'll all be available to see and buy at uh, the Book Barn, a Book Barn in Clovis mm -hmm. tomorrow. A Book Barn, if you've never been, really, you, you've got to go visit Great this place. place. It's just so wonderful, comfortable, and loaded with wonderful books. Mm -hmm. So, so we really encourage everyone to head out there. Um, Steve, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And yeah, yeah everybody go out there. Dan and Peggy are really good at yeah. the Book Barn and very sure helpful. Are. Great all local right. folks, great local business. Yeah. Yes. And we like them supporting local artists. So. Uh, yes, we all do. Thank all you right. for coming on today, Steve. Thank you for having we'll me. See you next yes. time.